I was told that in this building there were things that I might like so I'm gonna go in check it out see what they have I would like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video so they have furniture Lots of books. Ooh, I like the color of this one. It's a lantern. I don't know what the prices are. It says seventeen dollars, but I don't know if that's the actual price or if they're going lower. Oh, I love this with the chicken on it. $17.50. I'm just going to look around for now and then I'll check on the prices. Just want to see what they have. Kitchen gadgets. Okay, I just talked to the sweetest old man and I, he said to just disregard the prices. I'm like, well, can I make me a pile? He said, sweetheart, you make you a pile. And I said, the bigger the pile, the better price. He said, absolutely. So we are going to make a pile. This is so cute. Oh, brass deer, brass deer these little bunny napkin rings those are pretty I think it says what it says on the bottom hops hope something like that all right guys well I think that we need to start making a pile I love these are heavy I think they were painted I wish they were brass but I oh that nope they're ceramic but they're heavy I could repaint them I love the look of them how cute would that be as some little bookends like that I love this wood leaf too that is beautiful okay I'm get this 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 these little baby birds with their mouth open feeding time Look at this rusty metal strainer. I love that. I'm definitely going to get some of these kitchen gadgets because I can either make sets to sell or I could put them in little mystery boxes. Just like the cool older ones. That is the goal today. Not only to find stuff for the vintage drop that happens the first Wednesday of every month on my website juliesdesignsandsigns.com but I also want some really amazing things to put in my mystery boxes which is 10 thrifted items that I put in a box and I send to you I'll kind of tell you what I am looking for and the types of items that may be in there but then when you get the box you don't really know I think this is milk glass right here lots of glassware Let's see what's over here Avon dolls I love these oh I don't have some of these I don't have this one I don't have this purple one and there's a purple lady back there oh look at this little bird tin Oh, she's pretty. I like that. That's interesting. Look at this cat. It's very, very heavy. Here's some baskets. This basket is interesting. I like this one. 
I wonder if the handle moves. That would be perfect for shipping. Awesome. I'm definitely going to get this. This would look beautiful with some floral. Oh, look at this little piece. That's cute. These are actually really expensive. If you um, go to Florida, they're in all the boutiques over there. Wow, look at this piece. to look at this is so exciting this is wood this is beautiful I think I'm gonna get this too I love the look of that that look amazing on a white dresser kind of has a masculine look to it kind of like a leather look but it's wood I like it this little candy dish smaller than I normally find. Actually, I don't come across these that often. I like that. And it seals. Who is this? Some angels, a little wreath. Oh, it's a trivet. But it does have a little hook if you wanted to hang it on the wall. I like that as well. items here look at this little brass planter what is this it's wood and heavy that's cool i think it's a candle holder but i feel like you could also do it that way let me get in the light so y'all could see the aged wood on this piece love that So much everywhere. Is that a seashell? That's cute. I like that. Ooh, what is this? This little bowl. Ooh. I love this. So much to look at. Let me go back to that shelf I was at. I saw some stuff. Here's a little brass little container that's perfect for a mystery box. Look at this cute little bucket. That's adorable. This little pewter little iron. And look at this deer. That is really cute. All right, let me get all of those pieces. Are y'all as excited as me? Everywhere I go, I just want to be told, make a pile, <laughs> make a big pile. Everything's going to be a good deal. I will make a pile and y'all will help me. All right, guys, I want to take a minute to tell y'all about the different websites that Squarespace has to offer. Now they do have monthly rates, but you could save up to 30% if you do their yearly rates. So they have a personal website, they have a business website, but I do want to point out that there is a 3% transaction fee on the business website. So if you are going to be starting an e-commerce store like me, I would highly suggest one of the commerce plans. They have the basic commerce plan, and then I actually have the advanced commerce plan. It just has everything that I personally need to run my business as smoothly and as efficiently as possible. So if you're interested in starting your own website, y'all go check out squarespace.com slash Julie's Designs and Signs and Squarespace is giving my viewers 10% off their first website or domain and I will have a link in the description below for y'all. There's a fan right here, so it's a little bit loud. Sorry about that. This is very interesting. Ooh this piece that's so pretty I love how long and skinny it is it is signed on the bottom it says Gwen I love this I'm definitely gonna get this piece A little apothecary jar 
look at this hedgehog. It's a boot scraper. He is cute. Avon doll I have not seen before. That would look really cute in Ren's room. I'll probably get that one. Little cat dish signed. Oh, is the ear broken? Oh, both the ears are broken. I love this piece. Look, this little hand painted canvas. I actually think it probably looked really cute to take it out the frame and just have the canvas piece. I love this little cross stitch duck piece. Somebody made it for Craig Christmas 1989. And I also grabbed this little jug. This is currently my pal right here. This might seem silly, but I am so excited to find these vintage clothespins. I never come across this stuff. And there's two bags of them. This is exciting. I've seen pictures of them wrapped in vintage lace. That was really cute. Or you just put them in a jar. But I just, I never come across that kind of stuff. Like this really old horseshoe right here. That's cool. I already looked right here, but you gotta keep, you gotta keep looking. You gotta make several passes. There's just so much to see. Look at these brooms. Bet you can't find this kind of stuff anymore. That would be really pretty hanging in a kitchen on a hook. Let's see what this one looks like. These would not be fun to ship. They're extremely light, but they're very, very large. I think I have to rescue these. Somebody absolutely needs these for their farmhouse kitchen. They also have a very boho look to them as well. I found this oil painting. It is signed. I don't think the gold frame does anything for it, but it is beautiful and textured. I'm gonna add this to my pile y'all i hit the mother load look at all these piano rolls i'm bringing home and look at these trays i'm gonna keep them together they are so beautiful i need to figure out a spot to put at least one in my house i love the way that this looks and then they have all the labels right here how beautiful is that this is very exciting. Check out how amazing this box is. And look at these doorknobs. Look, this one still has part of the door on it. That's so cool. Love this amber glass jar. This one has a stopper on it. And then look at this little, I didn't drop it. I did not drop it. <laughs> but this little owl. It's made in Japan. I had a little um a little deer like this before. It's beautiful. Look at these little pieces right here. Like little rusty tops to them. It's an old pulley. Here's a hand turned wooden vase. I think it might be signed, but I can't read it. These always sell really well for me. I've been going back and forth on these tiny little salt and pepper shakers. Y'all can see how low they are. But this is the cute little rusty crusty stuff that I love. And if I love it, I feel like y'all gonna love it. So I'm gonna get them and sell all four together. Looks like some little hand painted syrup jars. It is currently uh, 57 degrees here. At Look at these two pieces I just found. I love the look of them. I got a black one and a white one. 
This one's a little more rustic and a lot heavier. And then I found these two little brass planters right here. This is interesting. What is this? It's an umbrella stand, but it's missing two legs and it is in very rough condition. This is heavy. I think it's copper. Some little knobs. Alright guys, my truck is fully loaded with even more goodies than I even showed y'all on film. I got so much good stuff at that sale. Definitely, if y'all ever have a place near y'all and it's maybe kind of close to me that is closing down and selling off a bunch of stuff, shoot me a message. I want to know, I want to go, and I want to bring y'all shopping with me. So the piano rolls are already restocked on my website if you're interested in those the rest of the stuff will hopefully be in my vintage drop next week julie's designs and signs.com all month long i go thrifting and then the first wednesday of every month all the items go up on the website at one time at 6 p.m central standard time so i'm hoping i have enough time to get everything up there and then these pieces will stay together i just think they look beautiful i actually want to keep one of them for myself i'm thinking about hanging it vertically or horizontally on my wall like a piece of art i think that would look beautiful i love the look of these but y'all definitely let me know what y'all think i just i just love these piano rolls you guys so hope y'all enjoyed this shopping trip leave me a comment below if you can remember what was your favorite item let me know and don't forget to check out the vintage drop on my website next week and also don't forget to check out squarespace if you're interested in starting your own website they are giving my viewers 10 percent off and i will have a link to everything in the description below